Alright, let me see your all right, turn around, let me see the back of your hair so I can get this so you know what the, it's not picking up the you get to go next, Holly? Oh boy! You get the before and after. Right. Well, I won't be here for. Well, I'll get the after after thing. Right, right. Okay. 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 All right, Dottie. Dottie, turn around. Okay, we got it. But there you go again. Let me get a close up. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lisa, turn around now. I have light now. I can see your hair. Oh, oh Lisa, looks so cute. There, we got good. All right, that's it. We got good light on that now. Thank you, dear. Uh, that would be a good picture.
chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, O oh God, for the ways you have touched our lives with a variety of loving relationships. We give thanks that we have experienced your love through the life-giving love of Jesus Christ and through the care and affection of other people. At the same time, we remember and confess to you, O oh God, that we often have failed to be loving, that we often have taken for granted the people for whom we care most. We selfishly neglect and strain the bonds that unite us with others. We hurt those who love us and withdraw from the community that encircles us. Forgive us, O oh God. Renew within us an affectionate spirit. Enrich our lives with the gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with that same love. May our participation in this celebration of love and commitment give to us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationship we cherish with Jesus Christ we pray. us to life. Be assured, children of God, that God's love enfolds us and upbuilds us so that we may continue to love one another as God has loved us. And now let us experience and express the same love by sharing the peace of Christ with one another. I invite you to stand and share the peace of Christ with your neighbors with the words, peace be with you and also with you.
First Corinthians speaks of uh, a kind of very giving love and a very sensitive love to the needs of others. Really, it's an agape kind of love which the Bible speaks, but it's also uh, a philos, a kind of love of a brotherly love or a sisterly love, affection, kind of love, sensitive love that the Apostle speaks of so eloquently in First Corinthians 13. And then, of course, that great sacrificial love that she shared for us from John's Gospel and how Christ gave his life for us, greater love than on his life for his friends and Jesus says you are my friends this whole complete kind of love uh, the sensual uh, sensitive and uh, sacrificial that the Bible speaks of uh, the fancy Greek names for that are eros erotic and uh, philos and uh, also agape this whole kind of love that the Bible speaks that God gives to us when I was uh, arriving here, bringing my, my gown in and my stole and this um, liturgical name, I think the Sincture or something like that, just wrote the whole thing together. One of the, um, uh, one of the uh, waitresses said, are, are you going to hang somebody? <laughs> well, we, don't, we don't call it that. <laughs> but last night, you know, um, uh, Laura recommended that we might uh, try some of the music scene in, in the town of Austin while we were here. And last night, my wife, Diane, and I uh, went to the Broken Spoke. <laughs> now, the Broken Spoke is billed as the last true old-time Texas dance hall. Wow, what a place. <laughs> what an evening. What an experience. And we just love it. Laura and Mike, I'd like to invite you. There were couples there of every age, size, every shape, and every stage of life. But they all had something in common. They loved each other. Sensually, sensitively, and sacrificially. They enjoyed being together. You could just see it. You could sense it. You could tell it was in the atmosphere. You know, I can't remember. I guess I much in a rat race there. Time I saw so many people genuinely being happy together at the large room. They loved to dance. The James Hand band just kept on playing. One song after another. I thought they were never going to take a break. All night just kept on playing. And the people were barely getting the back to their feet. So the band started up one and another one, and they just look at each other and they smiled. We've got to get out there again. Back out to the dance floor. Big Texas smile. And when people were nearly worn out through the evening, after a couple of hours of back and forth with the dance, they barely get down, back out again. When they were nearly worn out, 
James launched into I'm so lonesome I could cry. <laughs> and you know that filled the entire dance floor. <laughs> Couples who appreciated that beautiful old country song and the poetry. Have you ever heard a robin sigh? They knew how lost they would be without their partner. Always touch something deep inside. Let it be happy. Enjoy the infinite, the infinite love, the infinite gift of love that God has given you. And smile. Good smile. Each song has started out with smile. And hit the dance floor. <laughs> Even when you're exhausted, hit the dance floor and show your love for each other every way, sensually, sensitively, and sacrificially. And thanks be to God for these wonderful things. Amen. Affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. And Michael, will you have Laura to be your wife? And will you love her faithfully as long as you both know her? Or will you have Michael to be your husband? And will you love him faithfully as long as you both show him? I would like to ask for a choice of pledge of support. And first, I'd like to speak for I'd like to address the families, the families of Michael and Laura, to please answer in support of this couple. Do you offer your prayerful blessing and loving support? addressing the whole congregation, do you pledge your support and encouragement to the covenant commitment that Laura and Michael are making together? If so, please say, we do. We do. Let us pray. God of our mothers and of our fathers, hear our pledges encouraging and supporting this union of Michael and Laura. Bless us as we offer our prayerful and loving support to them.
Well, we get everybody this way, then we know we've got them covered. And if I don't get everybody at the reception, oh well, that's, that's okay. Everybody covered except Kent. Yeah. You want to get in there? I'll hold no, 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 no. Are you sure? Yep, yep, you yep, sure? yep. No, I'm much All better right. not. Here we go. Okay. Bringing up the rear here. Bringing we up have the, rear. The, uh, <laughs> the Italian contingent here. <laughs> Wait, I'm too close. Okay, let's see. Let me get back. Oop. There we go. Well, I think it matches perfectly. Yes, it does. It looks good. <laughs> there. Beautiful job, Anna. It was really nice. Yeah. 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 radio didn't take away from her. Yeah. She didn't have to sing too loud. Yeah. She was there for about a year and a half. She couldn't hardly talk. She yeah. Had, well, had to use one of those electronic equipment for yeah. school. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. This is the part you don't like, right? I heard you don't like to do wedding. No, no, no. <laughs> the portrait is gorgeous, him, though. Well, the portrait is, I said, oh, it's like a piece of art, not just a portrait. It's well, really pretty. Yeah, I saw that. I really like it. So folks, there we are. Brad. 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 And the flower girl is 
Chanel Dangle. The best man, John Collins. Maid of Honor, Maria Shorty. <laughs> what was on a dress before? So. That's right. And Mark Lucrone and Denise Gogan. Just now, Henry and Lisa Nolini. Yeah, you got that right. That was good. All right, and if we could have a, a moment of silence, Mr. Austin. <laughs>
kind of dark there. I don't have real, it's not going to be real clear.
should be good. I know. Well, that's it's there at the center. Yeah, it's like looks like they have three little girls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have sugar.
said. It's called a second line or something. She's looking Mary Rose, huh? What? Mary Rose she's even getting into it. Oh, here we go.